Hello students, welcome to standard 6 English 2 lesson 1 the moonlight sonata written by Catherine Lois Kobe and Olive Brown Horn. Students, sonata means it is a piece of music like a piano divided into three or four parts which are played at different speed. Before we begin the story, let us summarize the story, The Moonlight Sonata. Beethoven was one of the greatest German composers. In fact, people considered him the greatest composer that the world has ever known. Beethoven was moved by the pity as he was inspired to compose for a poor blind girl, his immortal moonlight sonata. Wandering one evening alone through the streets of Vienna, his attention was attracted by the notes of one of his composition, as he was one of the greatest composers of music, and upon inquiry, he found that the player was a poor blind girl. So he entered into their house, he found the beautiful musician. He devoted the devoted sister of a loving brother. He a mender of shoes. She was well refined pianist. She was an ardent admirer of Beethoven's music. Moved by the environment and charm of the evening, sat down at the piano and improvised. The beauty of the night, the moonlight, the breathless attention of his hearers, his sympathy, all combined to inspire a masterpiece which thousands have enjoyed since that fateful evening. Even an accidental turn brought to life the Moonlight Sonata. One moonlight evening in spring, a friend came to visit Beethoven. He said, Come, let's walk together in the moonlight. The two friends strolled through the streets of Vienna. While passing through a dark, narrow street, Beethoven suddenly paused in front of a small cottage. He said, What sound is that? It is from a sonata in F. Listen how well it is played. The music went on and at the end of the beautiful sonata, the music ceased and low sobs were heard instead. A girl's soft voice said, I cannot go any further. It is too beautiful. I don't have the power to play it as it should be played. Oh, how I wish I could go to one of Beethoven's concert. Concert here means music played for a lot of people or an orchestra. Ah, my sister said another wise. Why wish for something you cannot have? We can barely pay our rent. Are you right? answered the girl. And yet I wish for once in my life to hear some really good music. Beethoven looked at his friend and said, To go in, why should we go in? I will play for her, said the master in low tone. The girl had the soul of a musician. I will play for her and she will understand. When the two friends entered the room, they saw a pale young man sitting by a table. The pale young man refers to the brother of the blind girl. Making shoes, near him sat a young girl. She was leaning sorrowfully upon an old-fashioned harpsichord. harpsichord. Both the young man and the girl were startled and turned towards the door when the strangers entered the room. Excuse me, said Beethoven. 
but I heard the music and he was tempted to enter their house. He introduced himself as a musician. The girl blushed. Blushed here means her face became red because she was embarrassed. And the young man appeared annoyed. I also heard something of what you said. Beethoven continued saying, Shall I play for you? Shall I give you a concert? Beethoven's manner was so friendly and his voice was so kind that a smile took the place of the frown of the young man's face. Thank you, he said. But our harpsichord is of a very poor quality and we have no music. No music, said Beethoven, surprised. How then does the young lady play so? He stopped suddenly for the girl turned her face towards him. And for the first time he noticed that she was completely blind. I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon means here to ask sorry to someone. He stammered. But I did not notice before then you play by ear. Play by ear means as she was blind. She could play the music by remembering how it sounds rather than by reading the music sheets. Yes, entirely, the girl answered. And where do you hear music since you have never attended any concerts? asked Beethoven. She said that she heard a lady practicing near their home. During summer evenings, her windows were often open and she used to walk to and fro outside to listen to the music. Beethoven said no more. He seated himself quietly before the harpsichord and began to, to play.